And when I say Lies of P, I mean Lies of uh, the game, Pinocchio, even though they don't say Pinocchio because they don't want to get sued. That's actually the truth. That's why. Because, uh, you know, Disney owns the rights to Pinocchio. So they can't actually call the game Lies of P. That's why they've never called the character Pinocchio in the game. But. Hello. And welcome to James the Lesser Express Line, where we get you in and out as fast as possible with DSP being wrong about something. I know. Imagine that. This time it's about Pinocchio. Let's watch. Absolutely ridiculous. Why would you do that to me? Poor, poor Pinocchio. Even though they never called him Pinocchio because. I think Disney probably owns the rights to Pinocchio. So they literally never called him Pinocchio in the game. Did you notice that? Wrong. Pinocchio is not owned by Disney. The reason it's called Liza P is because, oh, we're going to call a game with the word Pinocchio in it. Well, guess what? There's like a dozen movies that pop up. Like, huh. How do we get our game to be noticed when you Google it? And I'll call it Liza P instead of Pinocchio. Yes, it is not owned by Disney. That's why, like, the Guillermo del Toro Pinocchio is out and all that. There's a couple others out there. It, It's not owned by Disney. As far as I know, it's literally public domain since a long time ago. Let me Google it real quick. And... Well, it is likely one of the best-selling books ever published. The actual total sales since its publication are known due to many reductions and different versions. Story has been public domain work in the U.S. since 1940. We were 17 years away from it being public domain for 100 years. Not owned by Disney. Not at all. Now, someone had an interesting question about why does a dark version of Pinocchio work but not say Winnie the Pooh? Let's watch, or in this case, read. The simple answer is that Dark Pinocchio is an adaptational pitch. Pinocchio is kind of creepy in concept, and you can hone in on that in weird ways, but Dark Winnie the Pooh... The contrarian pitch, Winnie the Pooh, is only sweet and lighthearted. Also, the original story is fucked up as hell. Like, Disney Disney-fied it, but the original story, who there's death, murder, kidnapping, suicide, like, it's pretty fucking dark. And that's why Pinocchio by Gal del Tormo, ah, Gal del Tormo, fucking hell to spell his name, or is pronounce his name right, and Liza P works so well, because the story originally is dark. Well, Winnie the Pooh, originally, is very lighthearted. So that's why all you get is those edgy, cringe horror movies with it. Also, Winnie the Pooh did not become public domain until recently. So people probably didn't have a lot of time to think of a story. You know what's quick and easy? Uh, Winnie the Pooh. But he kills people. Alright, let's make that movie. We don't need a storyline, just... Throw some people out there, have a guy in Winnie the Pooh, cast him, hunt him down, kill him. Done. Well, again, since 1940, Pinocchio has been public domain, so people have had time to come up with different stories and different adaptations and different settings for it. <sighs> but yes, it is not owned by Disney. Has not been owned by Disney since 1940. Actually, it was never owned by Disney in the first place, but it's been public domain since 1940. DSP. Five seconds. That's all it takes to get on the Google machine. And look it up. That time will let you go. Thank you for watching. As always, like, subscribe, comment down below, and have one hell of a day.